Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel. Today we are going to solve a system of linear inequalities in two variables. We have here our example, graph the solution of the system 2x minus y is greater than negative 3 and we have x plus 4y less than or equal to 9. Okay, so ang ating first step is we need to replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. So, ang ating 2x minus y is greater than negative 3. This will become 2x minus y is equal to negative 3. And then, ang ating namang x plus 4y is less than or equal to 9. This will become x plus 4y is equal to 9. Okay. Ang ginawa natin, ang ating inequality symbol, pinalitan lang natin ng equal sign. Okay. Okay. Let's have our step number 2. Ano naman ang ating step number 2? Uh, we need to find the x and y intercept. Uh, we let x to 0 and solve for y. We let y to 0 and solve for x. Ayan. So, separate lang natin. First is the first inequality, then the other side yung second inequality natin. So, 2x minus y equal to negative 3. 2x minus y is equal to negative 3. Or we let x to 0. Yung x natin magiging 0 minus y is equal to negative 3. So, this becomes 0 kasi 2 times 0 ay 0 minus y is equal to negative 3. So, we have negative y equal to negative 3. We multiply both sides by a negative 1. So, this can be written as y is equal to 3. So, ang first value ng y natin ay equal to 3. So, when x is 0, the value of our y is positive 3. Okay. Next is we let y equal to 0. So 2x minus 0 equal to negative 3. So this becomes 2x equal to negative 3. For us to find the value of x, we need to divide both sides by positive 2. Divide both sides by 2. So x is equal to negative 3 half. Okay? So, kapag ang y natin ay 0, ang x natin ay negative 3 half. So, when x is negative 3 half, our y ay 0. Okay, another side naman of the, or yung other equalities naman ang isosolve natin. So, we let x equal to 0, we let y equal to 0. Okay. So, this is x plus 4y equal to 9. x plus 4y is equal to 9. Ang x daw natin ay 0. So, this becomes 0 plus 4y is equal to 9. Okay, 4y is equal to 9. Divide both sides natin by 4 for us to get the value ng ating y. Okay. y is equal to 9 over 4. Okay. So, when x is 0, y is 9 over 4. Next, when y equal to 0. So, x plus 4, y equal to 9. So, x 4 times 0 is 0. So, it becomes x plus 0 equal to 9. Or, x is equal to 9. Okay. So, when y is 0, the value ng ating x i 9. Okay. For step number 3 is we need to graph the resulting equation. Okay. So, if x is 0, y is 3. So, it's here. If x is 0, y is positive 3. And then, if x is negative 3 half, y is 0. So, it's here. 
negative 3 half is just the same with negative 1.5. Okay? So, mapapansin natin ang ating given inequality uses the symbol greater than. So, kapag ang symbol na ginamit ay greater than or less than, kapag nag-graph tayo, we use the, the dotted line. Okay, next is for x plus 4y is less than or equal to 9. When x is 0, y is 9 over 4. See here, 2 and 1 fourth. So, 9 over 4 is just the same with 2 and 1 fourth. When x is 9, y is 0. So, 9, 0. And based from our given, mapapansin nyo, gumamit tayo ng less than or equal to. Ito. So, kapag less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, ang ginagamit nating line kapag nag-graph tayo ay solid line. Ano ang ating step number 4? For step number 4, we use the origin as our testing point. Okay, so unahin natin ang first inequality. We have 2x minus y is greater than negative 3. So just a reminder, kapag ang sagot natin dito ay true, ibig sabihin, we need to shade the area kung saan nandun si origin. Kapag ang sagot naman natin ay false, ibig sabihin, we need to shade the area kung saan wala doon ang origin. Okay? Okay. So, let's solve na. 2x is 0 minus y, which is 0, is greater than negative 3. So, 0 minus 0 is greater than negative 3. 0 is greater than negative 3. And this is true. Mas malaki ang 0 kaysa kay negative 3. Ibig sabihin, isi-shade natin yung area where the origin is located. Next is for the second inequality statement x plus 4y is less than or equal to 9. So, 0 plus 4 times 0 less than or equal to 9. This is 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 9. 0 is less than or equal to 9. This is true. Ibig sabihin, ang isi-shade natin na area is the area kung saan nandoon ang ating origin. Okay. So, this would be our graph. And the double shaded region is our solution. So, therefore, therefore, the double shaded region is the graph of the solution is the graph of the solution thank you for watching please subscribe for more math videos don't forget to like share 
and comment if you have any questions. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.